Okay, so what's going on? Um, this is a much talked about topic, and that's this concept of the of one consciousness, right? What is consciousness, and why is it so important? And it's really, uh, I'm gonna try to do my best to explain this because I think if we really understood how this works, we would be much much better off as a people. So. When people are talking about, like, the Alpha and Omega and God and all this that animates everything that exists that's making the birds chirp, the grass grow, you know, what's going on, that consciousness is only one just devised in a series of species and containers but it's still undergoing one consciousness that's observing itself in all forms of its existence what we're trying to say is it's not the concept of like you get in one body someone is dead and another person is born that's a different body See, that's a new body that's a plural thing like two or three bodies but these bodies are all still sharing one consciousness. There is no second consciousness being born. Think of the concept of like babies, right? You have three or four for fifth baby, all individual separate births, but they're all sharing one consciousness. consciousness. That's what we're trying to get people to understand. You cannot create a separate consciousness. The same consciousness that wrote the hieroglyphics four or five thousand years ago is now being interpreted by the same consciousness five thousand years later incarnated now into these physical bodies there is no new consciousness being created when you understand that then you realize why people never fear death in the first place consciousness is never created or look at it this way in your development of as a child, you know, you're going through your trimesters. You don't even get your brain to like the third or fourth month in conception. So what is creating the brain? And if that force or energy existed before the very creation of the physical brain, and obviously it must go on after the deteri deterioration of the physical brain. Let me say that again. If the consciousness that created the brain in the third month of you being conceived existed before the brain existed, that consciousness must then also exist after the brain is physically dead. So the consciousness does not go, does not disintegrate. It is out of the realm of the physical consciousnesses in the spiritual realm. That's why when you have dreams, you're literally within your consciousness. You're literally inside of your own consciousness when you're dreaming. That's why you can see dead relatives in the spiritual world because you're dreaming. You're in the consciousness. You're inside the consciousness, so to speak. So when you die, it's basically go back to the spiritual realm. And this is why our ancestors wore the onk. The spiritual world and when you sleep are interconnected because they're still existing inside of this consciousness that's never created or destroyed. But everybody want to argue over the name of the consciousness. I want to call it Jesus. I want to call it Yahweh. I want to call it Allah. I want to call it Krishna. I want to call it Dionysus. I want to call it Ra. I want to call it Osiris. You know what I'm saying? I want to call it Zeus. I want to call it... It's the same consciousness we're describing. So why are we letting ourselves be separated by religion? We always say, you know, you cannot get to the without looking within, within yourself, the consciousness. Or look at it even this way. Okay, let's look at it this way. 
Even if you're talking to God, you say you pray and you speak to God, you have a relationship with God. Do you not understand that y'all are relating to each other using the same consciousness? See, that's deep. It gets deep. That is really hard to comprehend and grasp that all of this is one consciousness just expressing itself limitlessly. The same consciousness that would form an atom and be able to get electrons to move around circular and that's making the planets go around in an orbit and directing the generation and regeneration of stars. The movement of your cells and how they communicate and the phases they go through. This is all being controlled by the same consciousness. And now that consciousness is speaking on it. And then the people that's watching this, y'all watching it and listening from the same consciousness. So all is one. That's what everyone been trying to say. I hope I put it in perspective and hope that made sense to you guys. But that's what we be trying to say when we're saying we're all one consciousness. That's it. That's the best breakdown I can give you of that, man. It's so powerful. Like, you just keep thinking about it. And it can make you smile because you can know, like, any of your love was and stuff like that. They, they just exist in a different form. Now. Like, it's, it's limitless. It's, yeah. So don't let nobody try to sell you salvation, I would say. It's within you. Peace and love, people. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think. Give me your ideas, your thoughts on it. Peace.